from whence courage, from whence courage, Brewster Stroke. Did I kick anyone? 
<laughs> they changed her medication, sent her some to recover, and at the 30-day checkup, she came back and she said, Doctor, I don't feel like myself. I can't do my tricks. The medication leaves me all foggy, buzzy-headed. Doctor said, I'm sorry, Susan. You have to take this medication the rest of your life, or you risk a fatal brain seizure. Don't worry. You'll get used to it. Susan said, no. I will not have my life controlled by drugs. And she adamantly refused to take the medication. Her parents supported her decision. The following year, she was fourth in the state of Ohio, seventh at the national competition in Kansas City. That was many years ago. They had told her never to curl again because of bumps on the head. She probably shouldn't have children. But she went on at age 21 to win a national championship without the scholarship. And she's married and she has two children. And a few years back, I sat down over a cup of tea with my good friend Susan, and I found out the source of courage. Courage comes from love. When you give and receive love, you build that intrinsic sense of self-worth that is the wellspring of courage. And I found out by asking Susan herself, Susan, where do you find the courage to live your life like this? She smiled. And she said, from you, Daddy. Oh. From your love. And from a poem you read to me once. That poem, Invictus, by William Ernst Henley. Out of the night that covers me, black as the pit from pole to pole, I thank whatever gods there be for my unconquerable soul. It matters not how straight the gate, how charged with sentiment the scroll, I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. Mr. Hunt, this chair.